to us. Um, Brazil hosts the BRICS Summit next year, and when South Africa hosted in 2013, you know, their emphasis was on the BRICS Development Bank. They raised uh, what they call the Africa Agenda, where they included a number of African actors um, as part of the debates and discussions. What do you think is the next natural step for Brazil as they host in 2014? I think Brazil will uh, continue the same agenda that will uh, uh, that was started uh, in South Africa in 2013. Uh, in that sense, uh, uh, I guess the BRICS Development Bank will be the center of the debate. Uh, but also, since we have elections, presidential elections in Brazil next year, uh, probably, probably the Brazilian government will campaign or will try to put uh, some issues in the agenda. I think uh, in the, the inequality issues, uh, poverty reductions uh, and uh, 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 hungry uh, will uh, will be uh, in the agenda for next year. What progress would you say has been made um, with regards to the BRICS Development Bank? I think there is a consensus already uh, uh, in terms of how this bank will be governed, uh, how this bank will be organized. Uh, there is a consensus sta uh, stating that uh, there will be uh, uh, an even distributions of uh, quotas or shares among, among BRICS countries, allowing this bank uh, to be uh, uh, an alternative in terms of governance uh, to the World Bank. So in that sense, uh, we are going to, to have even shares uh, among BRICS countries and uh, all the BRICS countries countries will have uh, uh, the same uh, uh, the same vote uh, in, inside the bank. So in terms of uh, progress, uh, what we have uh, uh, is probably that. Uh, that can change until, until uh, March or, or April uh, during the, the summit. Uh, but uh, from my perspective, this is already settled. Before the BRICS, there was the India-Brazil-South Africa or IPSA forum. Um, has anything changed in the way South Africa and Brazil have engaged now that there's the BRICS Forum? Uh, I think IPSA was created by uh, India, uh, uh, Brazil and South Africa uh, to uh, campaign for the reform of global governance structures. Uh, these countries, they have uh, lots of uh, similarities. There are lots of uh, 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 disagreement as well. Uh, but at least all of the three countries, uh, they have common problems such as poverty. Uh, 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 and uh, in that sense, uh, some areas such as poverty re reduction, uh, fighting hunger, uh, 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 inequalities, and so on and so forth, uh, were uh, present in the IPSA agenda, uh, besides the reform of global governance. When BRICS came, uh, BRICS add to, to uh, Brazil, India, and South Africa, China, and Russia, which uh, uh, make things more, more and more complicated in terms of a, a building consensus or, or consensus building. Uh, uh, First, these countries are in uh, several areas status quo countries. And if you take security, for instance, those are uh, permanent members of the Security Council, uh, the UN, uh, in Brazil, India, and South Africa. They claim uh, a, a permanent seat at uh, the Security Council. Uh, uh, and these countries, they have, uh, 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 let's say, some kind of disagreements uh, among each other. So uh, it is it would be difficult for China to accept uh, India in the Security Council. Uh, at the same time, Brazil and South Africa would be uh, also uh, uh, contested as, uh, uh, as uh, claimers of a, of a permanent seat. So in terms of global governance, uh, from one perspective, adding China and Russia uh, uh, would be a way to make the group more powerful. But on the other side, it is more difficult to reach a consensus, a consensual position among these countries. And at the same time, <coughs> all, the, all the efforts that, was ma that were made uh, by uh, India, Brazil, and South Africa within the IBSA arrangement uh, uh, was, were uh, uh, kind of a weakened uh, because of the BRICS. Uh, in a way, uh, there is a shadow of BRICS uh, 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 on, on, on the IBSA forum, making the IBSA uh, less re relevant uh, for, uh, for these countries. So is it time to expand the BRICS? Um, there's been talk about perhaps Turkey, uh, Mexico, or South Korea even, you know, joining an expanded BRICS grouping. Um, is that what you think will happen, or are they looking as the BRICS to consolidate what they have so far? I think the, the, the group will stay as it is uh, now. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, uh, 
the more you add countries, uh, the more complicated it will be to reach consensus. Uh, uh, and it is already quite complicated to reach consensus among these countries. There is no consensus among BRICS uh, regarding the reform of the Security Council. There is no consensus regarding uh, the WTO uh, uh, Doha uh, uh, round. Uh, there is no consensus regarding climate change. Uh, so uh, uh, if you add more countries in that sense, it will be more complicated to uh, uh, reach consensus in these areas, and it is already too difficult. Paolo, thank you for talking to us.